a few students asked me to say something about cultural globalization. What is cultural globalization and what kind of trends do we see? We discussed that culture and in fact our own perception of reality is both formed and maintained by communication. Cultural communication is basically all communication because we always implicitly communicate values and ideas. Even when we are listening to seemingly meaningless music or watching an entertaining soap opera or we're reading a simple comic book, they all communicate something about the culture in which they were produced. Well, cultural globalization is, simply put, an international reach of cultural ideas and values as a result of a global communication of messages. According to most scholars, there was always some extent of globalization as people traveled throughout history. Historical developments like wars, colonization, increased international trade, increased education and increased international tourism. These trends were all reasons for a growing interest in international affairs and created the context in which an international communication landscape could develop. But the rate of globalization has increased with the reach of our mass media. It started slowly with cultural carriers that travelers took home, like little statues, jewelry or coins. The globalization pace quickened with the rise of print media. Books, pamphlets and newspapers made international travel of cultural messages more widespread. In the 19th century, for example, English and American newspapers were read throughout the world. Perhaps this is also the start of a dominance of an Anglo-American culture in global communication. Movies and television programs were again a new step in the globalization trend. You know the saying, a picture can say more than a thousand words. Well, these new audiovisual media brought pictures and sound. And again, there were mostly Anglo-American TV shows and movies that traveled the world. These cultural messages did more than travel the world. They also influenced the people they encountered. People felt culturally connected through movies and television series and such, with people on the other side of the globe. And this globalization trend has only increased in recent years, mainly due to the rise of digital and mobile media that, first of all, give us immediate access to a rich assortment of cultural content from basically every country in the world, and secondly, allows us to communicate with people in other countries easily and instantly. It is quite clear that we have today an international communication landscape that exists in a variety of media like books, magazines, newspapers, radio, television, cinema and the internet. But what is exactly its effect on the formation of culture throughout the world? As you know, culture creates a feeling of belonging. That cultural messages are now spread internationally is, according to some, a reason to believe that a global village is emerging, where people feel connected with each other regardless of their country of origin. The global culture that is communicated through our mass media is the binding force in this village. It connects us. Optimists believe that all this cultural sharing will lead to, first of all, greater understanding and secondly, a lessening of cultural misunderstanding and conflict. However, other scholars see a very different trend. Yes, they agree people are now forming groups with others from other countries, but at the same time, societal cohesion in general is weakening as a result. Members of groups feel more connected to their group than to society. And this trend is called tribalism and in fact means that as smaller groups become culturally stronger, they become more and more isolated from larger society. These groups form modern day tribes. Their strong group culture is carried by their own specific channels with their own culturally approved content. Group identity becomes increasingly different from mainstream society. So different that in fact it starts to oppose it. 
and therefore scholars that believe in this new tribalism trend actually predict more cultural misunderstanding and more conflict as a result of this.